I my phone mirror tip. A beautiful screen mirroring app guys for Android and iOS devices. Welcome back, it's your ninja Muhammad from Techutopia YouTube channel. Here we go, today we'll be reviewing this uh, software, this app for Android and iOS devices. I'll be using it in an Android device. And uh, yes guys, it is also free. It is free, it is. it does have some limitations, but yes, it is available for free. You don't have to pay for it. You can try it, test it by yourself, see, and if you like it, you can purchase the VIP account, basically the paid version, which will give you a better performance and higher resolution. So it does offer US USB connection, wireless connection, and a beautiful QR code connectivity for more convenient, uh, obviously faster approach and faster connection. What I love about it, guys, it does have also audio and transfer. So whether it be Wi-Fi or USB connection, it will also transfer your audio from the phone to your PC, and I'll be doing it right now today. Now let's let's go immediately jump to this test. The links will be in description. Okay guys, so let's begin. Shortly I'll be showing you how you're gonna connect it. Firstly, uh, you need to connect it with the USB cable. To be able to use the mirroring Wi-Fi wireless option, you first you need to do a USB connect connectivity. You need to do that, guys. There you go, it just takes a few seconds and we are in, which is very, very fast. And what I love about this uh, mirroring app, it is it does have an option for audio. You can enable here the audio option and it will also uh, mirror the audio and video from phone to the PC, guys, which is very nice. You can see yourself, we are controlling right now, uh, we are controlling this phone with my mouse, with my PC. That's cool, isn't it? You can see yourself here, I can go back here, I can open here, all the stuff, go here, go there. That is nice, man. That is really nice. So firstly, what we're gonna do is let's try to, uh, regarding the photos and videos, I'm not gonna take that much. Maybe I will take open here the video. Let's check it out. And I'll op open some simple video, maybe this one. Put it back here. Welcome back, welcome back. Check your thumbnails. That is insane. That is insane, guys. Really smooth experience. You can see myself. The audio is transferred also, <laughs> and it's very nice, very accurate, and stable connectivity. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go back. Go back. Maybe another video. Let me select another video. Let's check this out. There we go. And you can judge by yourself, guys, here if there's a major delay, which will make you. Uh, kind of quit using this app so far with the USB uh, connectivity. I don't see any delay whatsoever. It's super fast, man. It's super, super fast. So for now, I'm going to try to uh, just use my phone. Check this out, guys. Check it out. This that is insane. I'll be also playing a game. I'll be also playing a game. Don't worry. Don't don't uh, don't quit this video until you watch it till the end. There we go. We'll go all the way to 1080p, 60fps. Check this out, guys. Awesome. Really, really great. Also, video quality. You can go up to 1080p, 480, 720p, uh, and uh, 1080p, 30fps or 60fps. Nice. But let's check it out. Did we select 1080p? We're gonna go back here. Let me go to the settings. Let's go now to apps. I need to go to the settings. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're gonna exit from here. We're gonna exit from here. We're gonna select the settings over here. We're gonna go now to general settings. Highest, ah, it is, it is to the highest, but I didn't enable here 60 FPS, that was my mistake. So we're gonna just screenshot saved, that's fine. It's beautiful, anyway, we saved, we're gonna just save all of this stuff. We're gonna go back here, and let's try it again. Awesome, awesome resolution, man. Awesome resolution, I love it. Beautiful. Yeah, for, for, from here, of course, you can access, guys, uh, more uh, more options. Basically, more videos. You can do a lot of stuff. You can do a lot of stuff. Check it out. Just the most important thing is to check here the transfer speed. Is it laggy too much with the USB connectivity? It's not. It's not, guys. Check it out. So remember, this should work with any smartphone, though. 
Uh, this app is really good because if your phone doesn't have, support NHL video output, you can connect your, use this app and connect your smartphone with it. Uh, because, uh, example, mo what the heck, all Xiaomi devices don't have. Just I think one model of Xiaomi devices have USB uh, 3 Gen where you can connect it. So you can see by that's very, very bad. That's seriously very, very bad. Let me go back here. Um, let's go next. Let's go now and try the gaming. Let's try the gaming for the end for regarding USB connectivity. Okay, just one more thing to mention you guys. Of course, we are controlling this phone uh, and not just controlling guys the touch, but we are having here the mouse support. We are having here the mouse support and check this out. We have here also keyboard support guys. So we are using the keyboard and the mouse, <laughs> which is uh, crazy. <laughs> With, with, uh, uh, with my PC, uh, we are controlling completely full control of the phone we have over my PC, man. That is beautiful, man. That is seriously beautiful. I repeat again, I'll show you right now again here. I'm gonna just go to type. Look, check it out. Everything which I type here, it just goes, what oh, the heck, what is this? Go, go out of the from here. What did I enter? What the heck is that, man? Go away, go away, go away. Anyway, uh, I mean, that should be it. Let's go now and test for the for the gaming. Let's uh, do the gaming support now. There we go, guys. Well, it's a good game to test, uh, of course, here, the mirroring app uh, Asphalt 9 running 60 FPS. Check it out. Awesome, man. Seriously, awesome. Love what I'm seeing right now over here. Can play games. Uh, this is the thing here, of course, uh, I don't think there's a gamepad support transfer, only mouse and keyboard from the bar. So, uh, altogether, the game itself, it shouldn't be that enjoyable to play with the USB uh, or, without, or without it, because you'll have to hold the, the phone all the time. And what the heck, how are you gonna, how are you gonna watch a TV and a phone screen at the same time? Because you'll probably even have to press spe special buttons over the phone screen. So, I don't recommend it that much until they maybe release a gamepad support transmission that, that that's gonna be insane then that's gonna be insane if they can do that that's gonna be insane in the future guys so far i can see here i mean check it out guys this is really smooth this is really smooth i don't feel any uh, huge lag whatsoever in the transmission here speed check this out i'm gonna press here Press break, press break, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Beautiful. Okay, now I'll be showing you how to connect it with a wireless support here. We're going to enter Android. Now we're going to go to QR code over here on the PC. On the phone, we're going to go to the app, mirror, Wi-Fi, QR code, and scan the QR code, guys. What you need to do is you need to have both of your PC and your smartphone connected to the same Wi-Fi. Remember that, guys. Here we go. We are in. And again, enter. You can, you can check by yourself, guys, the speed. So it's not the same as USB. Don't expect the same frame rate, the same speed, the same uh, resolution. Impossible to get that kind of right now, guys. This uh, technology still needs to advance much, much more, much further. To be honest, I don't know how long it's going to take it. Uh, but here you go, you can see myself that this is completely acceptable. Acceptable. This is completely acceptable here. It is a bit laggy. It's me recording at 1080p 60fps. Maybe if I lower it down to uh, maybe to oh, it is at the lowest. What the heck? In wireless, it is at the lowest 480p. What if I go to 1080p? Oh my god, that's gonna be terrible. But I will leave it, man. I don't want to go test the 1080p. Uh, seven, maybe 720p. I will test 720p. There we go. Yeah, the resolution is better on my PC right now. We're going to try to open some uh, video, go to landscape mode and put here on the full screen. And this is what you get, guys. Obviously, it's not comparable uh, as the previous USB connectivity, but here for, for some purposes, it should be fine for presentations, showing PDF files, pictures, etc, etc. But for the videos, they still need to improve this app for sure, guys. This is my own opi opinion right now regarding that. not just this app, guys. Many, many different apps here. They need to improve a lot on the wireless connectivity. USB connectivity is awesome. I have to admit, USB connectivity is awesome. So that should be it. I hope you enjoyed in the small, short review of this app. The links, download links will be in the description. You can purchase this app for free. I mean, you can purchase it or try it for free if you want to do that. Bye-bye.